What's happening? Dustin here with Life in a Mustang, and today I'm gonna show you how to light paint your car for Instagram or Facebook or whatever you wanna show off your car and get those sweet photos that you see in the magazines. So stay tuned. All right, what we got right here is the camera. The camera is set on 30 seconds, F10, ISO 100. We are in full manual mode, as you can see right there. We got it all set up. I'm gonna be filming with this rig right there because I'm gonna use my cell. I'm gonna use my cell phone as a remote. That way I don't touch the camera or shake the camera. That way when I go and put these into layers and Photoshop, they will line up evenly. The key is not to move the camera. All right? Right there. Don't move the camera. We're going to be using that camera right there. So we're not going to move the camera. The camera is going to stay stationary. And this is how we got the car set up right here. You can't really see it, but you'll see what I'm doing. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to click that shutter and I'm going to take the car and I'm just going to walk down it, light painting the car, right? With the flashlight. And then I'm going to click off and I'm gonna get out of the frame. And I'm gonna do that a few different times, light the one rim, light the next rim, light a part of the body panel, and so on. Now the quality of this video might be kinda hard to see, but I will also show you in Photoshop. Right here is just a 30 second exposure. I'm gonna expose a certain part of the vehicle for that 30 seconds, then I'm gonna step out of the frame. And then secondly, here's the second photo, I'm exposing the wheels, and then the third photo, I'll do some more highlights on the car. And that's how this whole thing works. 30 seconds, you expose that. See right there, I'm doing the roof line. I'm doing some body lines, different exposures, different lighting for every different photo. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to my file where I downloaded these pictures, say out of the memory card, out of the camera, however you wanna do it. I shot in RAW, which means it's a bigger file. So in Photoshop, all you have to do is drag the RAW file into Photoshop and it creates a layer and then you place the layer in your standard, say this is um, 1920 by 720, the same size as a YouTube thumbnail. And I'm gonna drag in all my separate photos. They're all raw. I'm gonna make sure my white balance is all the same. My white balance was 6850 on all of these photos. So they're just dragging these in, getting prepared, making sure everything's just how I want it. Like I said, these are raw files. You can also do this with a JPEG. Get a little more freedom with a raw file if your camera shoots in raw. All right, so I'm all finished up here. I think this is the last photo I'm putting in. As you can see, every separate photo has a bit of different lighting to it. Uh, and the top of that photo right there, you can see a light streak. That's actually the phone I was using for my remote. And let me go ahead and get that. Just messing with the white balance, checking it out. Hopefully that's the last one. All right, here we go. Now we can get into how we actually do this. Now that we got all these layers in, we're gonna use white to reveal, black to hide. So I'm gonna work with two layers at a time. This is how I do it. Right now I'm just searching around, painting in the section of the photo I wanna use, checking out, looking at all the different photos. I'm gonna go through the little eye icon on the left side of where my mouse clicker is. It's gonna hide or reveal the photo that you're working on. Make sure you have the gray selected on the photo you're working on and make sure you select the white, the work in. So you're working inside of your mask. So we got all these in, we got them all edit aligned and we go down and we add a layer mask. That's gonna be your third icon in at the very bottom of your layers panel. And we're gonna go through and make sure our color is white or black to hide or reveal a layer. And we're gonna work with two layers at a time, at least that's how I do it. And I'm going through and I'm still checking out, seeing what lighting I'm gonna use. And then we'll go ahead and get started with the actual editing here. All right, so I'm still just checking out, Going, you just go back and forth, back and forth. Right here is the rims and the top lighting. There's, this is two different photos right here, and then on the very top of the car, the roof line. Now, as you can see, 
I am painting in that roof line and kind of got to get the blends right. If you didn't do your lighting just perfect or use the light bar, I used the flashlight, so it's not perfect. My car wasn't clean. Uh, so it's best to do this with a clean car, uh, completely black and with a better light source than a flashlight. You can do it with a flashlight. Professionals use uh, like ice lights and everything, but right here, uh, I'm having trouble getting this to blend together with the two different colors. So right now I am concealing or revealing white to reveal black to conceal. And I'm just trying to make this corner right here blend in as perfect as I can. And it takes me a few tries, but I think I finally get it where I get that light. I get the highlight from the roof line capture and I get the from the side body panel capture blended in together. So the roof line and the mid body line, the lower body line and the wheels are all different photos. And what I'm doing is white to reveal, black to conceal. And I'm working inside my layers. I'm picking the layer and I'm gonna mask out. See right there, I'm masking out. I'm using black to conceal and it just did not look good. So it's just kind of use your brush now and B for brush and then you use your brackets to make your brush larger or smaller. And then you can go in and you can actually feather this stuff together. You can right click feather, uh, you adjust your opacity. You can all, do all kinds of things. Uh, you can go down to your first icon in your layers panel and adjust opacity and things like that. And then you can go up and right click up in the layers and adjust feather and you can go to your brush and adjust your brush sizes and use your brackets to go, you know, bracket left, smaller, bracket right, bigger, B for brush, white to conceal, white to reveal, black to conceal. And I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to paint the layers that I actually want and try to make it blend together. As you can see there, all those brush strokes showing the brush strokes. And finally, I get an image that I think I'm happy with. So I'm going to go ahead and save this just how it is. Now, this isn't a perfect photo, but it's just here to show you what you can do. You can blend these photos together and really get some highlights through your cars. You can cut this out, put it on a background. You can do a lot of different things right here, just showing you the layers on and off the layers that I use. And I'm going to go in here and touch up. As you can see, I'm going to go over to the change my to black and right there I'm gonna paint in and there's actually a little sticker there that I have on my hood scoop it shows up a little better where I was sitting um, and I'm just going and paint in and get all those little details and blend it together now and then you can go back in like I said to your layers panel and feather everything together and really make it look like a seamless photo I want to thank you all for watching. This has been How to Light Paint Your Car with Life in a Mustang. I'm Dustin. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I hope you all have a very happy Memorial Day. Peace.